that me, man, and I'm going to show you how to clean up some frames. I've had several requests. I can say, why would you clean frames up? What I do is I cut all this wax out. These came out of some supers, extracted them, we set them out, and we let the bees clean them out. The first thing I like to do is, this is a five frame lid. I turn it upside down and I use it for my cutting. And a lot of you beekeepers out there, you look at this stuff, you say, well, yeah, you can use that. Here's the whole thing, this is the fall. Now, if you want to use this for next spring, what you have to do is put wax moth crystals on this to keep the wax moths out. And if you want to crisscross it, open stack it, the next thing you have is you have a rodent problem. And if you have a rodent problem, you've got mice and rats to get up there, and they start chewing this wax up, and if they start peeking inside them boxes, those bees are going to be hard to stay in there. So what I like to do is I like to just cut it out, and I go back every year with new foundation. Now I use a steak knife here that I dull, see how dull it is, and a dull box knife. You want to get the wax off your knife. This wax builds up on your knife, it acts like breaks on here. I just cut down just like so, cut the whole thing out. You want to clean up good. Now I kind of roll it up and I smash it down. Then I get my stack out. Now I'm going to get my, here's my melting down kettle. I'm going to fill this thing up, get two or three pounds. Now each time before I clean the flame, this frame up, I'm going to clean my knife. Now here's another thing that most people use. They'll use staples in here. And you see how easy that came out? These are brads. You put brads in here, you take your knife just like this and push them out. I have a little container down here because I don't want to get them in my tires and my lawnmower. So I push them out. Stick them down. Now, when you put this cleat bar in here, you can use staples, don't get me wrong. When you put a staple in here, they hold so well that they'll tear this thing up completely to pieces. The bread holds it in there, and you can use these things from year to year. This one here, you can see there's got, there's four or five holes in there. Every year, this is my ritual. I do not save wax from one year to the next. I clean my cleat bar up and get it ready for next year. The next thing I'll do is I clean this groove out. I turn the knife up, come right down that groove, do passes like that, and clean all that out. Now sometimes you're going to get some propolis in there. That's propolis right there. The main thing is get this thing clean. Now these are uh, are going to be pretty much clean when I get done here but as I go I'm going to try to think about everything that a new beekeeper should look for. The main thing, you see these little holes right here? This is where if you get one or two little eggs from a wax moth and then you stick this frame into your hive what you're doing is putting the eggs into a nice healthy hive and when those eggs hatch out they're going to have wax moth in there. And I know there's a lot of you people out there just sitting there just saying, oh, I put my stuff in the freezer. Well, that's fine. That's good. If you've got a dozen freezers, if you run 40 or 50 hives, you're going to need two or three dozen. And the next thing is, if you're married, you want to stay married, keep the bee stuff out of the freezer. Now, see how I'm just taking a, a few minutes, clean that frame up. you are got to get this this uh, groove here cleaned up pretty good. Now you notice I have a towel over my table saw. I don't want this little pieces of wax going down onto the floor getting everywhere. Gonna get it as clean as possible. Now that's pretty good for next year. Get the wax off the bottom. Come across here and get this. Now this is a very simple thing but I notice new beekeepers out there, everything is kind of strange when you first start and the books don't go into very much detail. There's a little bread I forgot. Now, you're going to learn to save everything that you possibly can. 
Now, the only thing that I'm not going to clean on this frame, you see right here, this is build up a propolis. I leave that until springtime. Now, what I do is I put that in a container and I save it. Get my container. Here's my container, and this is full of propolis. That's about $80 to $100 worth of propolis. This is number one propolis, and you'll get it between your frames. It's always real thick and gluey there. It's something to think about. If you want to save everything and, and make a little money, the propolis will buy you some frames and stuff. Now what I'll do is just put this to the side. Now your lid actually helps keep all these little pieces from going all over the floor. Now I take the knife with the cleat bar down because if you got the cleat bar here it's a little offset and the knife will catch on that. Just get that down here and come right down across there. I like to do quite a bit of wax at a time. This kettle's probably got about three to four pounds of wax. That's one frame. Now when I put my sheet of wax in there, I'm actually doubling or, do or maybe even tripling. So I'm gaining wax every time I do this. And the bees actually are making wax all the time. It's not costing you nothing. If they're not using it to put it in the frame, they're blowing it out the front of the hive. It'll look like dandruff coming out. Now see, you just get that across like that. Now, whenever you feel that knife starting to drag, take the knife and clean it. it it'll go a whole lot better. Now see how nice those brads pop right out? You don't waste that uh, strip. Now when you come across like this, Let's see if I can't get this out in one piece. There is the, the sheet of wax that I made last year. See, so every bit of it gets recycled. Now, if you got a lot of money, you don't worry about it. Stick it outside, let the wax moths eat it up. But to me, this is worth so much more because I know there's no chemical in there. I don't want to store my stuff on wax moth crystals and have that stuff in my wax eventually it's going to get in the honey and your bees ain't going to be as healthy. Now see, that's perfectly usable for next year. I'm going to take my knife across like this. I use the side cutters, just reach down, get those brads and pop them right out. Now I've tried it with the staples and it actually is a whole lot harder. See, that's not so hard to get out. It's not so bad when you first start. Now, this is why I got my rag there. This is to me is like my gold. I don't like to lose my wax. I completely recycle it every single year. And I've had people send me emails wanting to buy my wax. I don't really sell my wax. If you're a student, I'll I'll sell you a little bit, but I use this wax here myself so much that I can't make but so much wax a year. And I don't buy anybody's wax I don't know anything about. You see, actually when you scrape a frame down, you get quite a bit of wax. Now, after I store these and I get ready for next year, I'll have these to where all I have to do is take the propolis off. Now the next step that I do is I get a tub, a big uh, Rubbermaid tub, and I put it two inches from the top, and I put two cups of bleach water, a bleach in there, and then I add water so I have bleach water, and I soak my frames in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now all your frames are going to di get discolored. See how this frame is a little discolored? Now that's just tracking. You see, I can scrape some of it off. But now you put this in the bleach water, and that frame's going to come out just like new again. Also, if you've got little indentations like these holes here, where you got your uh, pin holes for your wax, that's where you get debris uh, holds up in there, your wax moth eggs, and it sanitizes your frame. A little bit of sanitizing on these frames every year, and keeps up every one of your little problems down. 
keep that wax moth out. Now that frame is ready. Now, if you like these videos, go to my webpage and you can see the different things we do. We have a lot of videos up. If you have something you want to see, send me an email or leave a comment and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching the Fat Bee Man.